Hey everyone, this is a live, so I'm gonna wait a second for a couple people to get on. It's, let's see, 10.15 in our new studio, and we hope to do more and more of these as time goes on and time goes by. So if there's a topic as a runner you're thinking of, as a nonprofit you're wanting to learn more about, or as a current race director you're wanting to get more into or learn more about, let us know in the comments or drop us an email, events at run for Phil. <laughs> so this is the Race in the Blocks brought to you by Run for Phil. I'm Grant Carlisle and today's topic is Dine to Donates as a promotional tool. So let's start with Dine to Donates. If you've never done one of these events, they're very easy, they're quite easy. You pair with a, a local food company, all right? So the, the restaurant pairs with you, the nonprofit, and that restaurant, whatever they make that evening, as far as revenue goes, that money, a portion of that money goes to you. It could be 10, could be 15, it could be 20%. So this is a normal established thing. Restaurants like the promo of a dine to donate because you're driving people into their restaurant. So people are going to eat. This is great. You get a portion of that revenue. All right. So dine to donate is something that you do, can do in your local town. It can be a fundraiser just for you and your organization. That already happens. So what you can do is put on, call one of your restaurants and say, I want to do a dine to donate. What's going to happen is they're going to give you a voucher. And this voucher is a piece of paper that gives the details of the dine to donate event. This is how much of a donation is going to be given, who it's going to, what's the address of the locations that are participating in the dine to donate. The, the restaurant locations. And that voucher is then what you share with all the people you know about and your group and your constituents. And the idea is then you're driving all of those people into the restaurant to get a bump in sales so that you get a portion. So here comes the light bulb moment. You're sharing a voucher with everyone to go to the restaurant already. What you do with your running event is you take that voucher and put it on top of the run voucher. So now you physically put the run voucher and the, the run promo media. That's just letting people know, here's the run, here's where it is, here's what time it's at, and here's where you go to sign up. You copy those into one page, and then you share that page. So you're promoing this Dine to Donate so that people will go to the restaurant. You'll get a portion of that revenue. All the while, you're also promoing the running event and getting people to sign up and register for the running event. Okay, so let me pause for a second. This is going to be a win-win-win. A win for you immediately because you're going to get the, the Dine to Donate money. A win for you for the running event because people are going to register. And a win because it gives you an excuse to send your message to your constituents. You're reinforcing your message about what is your mission and vision and why they should be a part of it. So you're already finding an excuse to say something to them and to get in front of them. And making a hard ask, a hard ask, right? Do this for us. Come here and eat dinner. Register for this event. That's a hard ask. And you need to make those hard asks. And this creates an excuse for you to reach out and say, here's an opportunity for you to be involved. In fact, here's two opportunities for you to be involved. All the while, okay, all the while, people can share the voucher within their office, within their family, within their friend group. That voucher also promos the running event. And all those people you're sending it out to are who? They're your volunteers that normally volunteer with you. They're your sponsors. And they're everyone within your organization that you work with. And that's not just people in your office. Dig deeper. Who is it? 
It's your vendors. Who makes all your prints? Who comes in and does service on your security system? Who does your landscaping? All these people that you interact with are people you're promoting to. And a dime to donate creates, everyone's got to eat, right? <laughs> everyone's got to eat. So you're creating an opportunity for them to get involved with your organization on something they're going to do anyway, going out to dinner, eating. You're not only letting them do that, you're allowing them to get involved in a big event down the road, the running event. So it's a win-win-win in that way for you. So the Dying to Donates are creating an opportunity for you to get in front of your constituents. It's giving you an excuse to send your message, talk to people about your vision for what's going on in the world. And then it's making the hard ask of getting those people involved. All right, it's something they can do. It's a low bar to get involved, but it's something that's gonna help your organization now and at the event in the future. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, where you can help us connect philanthropic running.